checking to see that the shed is all set up. The chains are across the back there, we don't want the cows going up there. But good morning everyone, it's an exciting day today because we are pregnancy scanning one of the herds, we're going to do the other herd tomorrow. But Martha's just text our vet, she's just said that she's finishing up her job. So I'm going to go and get the cows in, hopefully they do come in alright. We have milked uh, them this morning, they've gone to their paddock, I haven't fed them out silage like I um, would normally do, just because I thought if I do that they might not want to come in uh, as well. So we're going to get them and see how it goes anyway. It's also a great morning because we have had a little bit of rain, only a couple of mils, but hopefully it continues and we get a little bit more or well, later this morning and this afternoon, which would definitely help. <whistles> Wasn't too bad. Come out alright, although they probably think they're going to the feed pad to get a feed. See there's a couple of cows jumping at the front there, so there is a couple of empties in here, I probably know of about four or five, and I'm just going to let them back there, they can go back to the same paddock for a couple of hours early this afternoon. Just put a string up across the bottom end so they can't get in there, otherwise they'd all just be standing on there and it'd be real hard to get them out. And Dad has just come down because he's going to take the front half up, and sort of, yeah, take them up to the shed first and then I'll just follow the, the rest of them up should make it a little bit easier too. You can see him just through there. Works pretty well doing it like this. Dad's got his cut in the shed but he's just waiting up there because otherwise they will run back out. So come on girls, up you go. Try and get these on now and shut the gates. All good. Wait for Martha. Come on girls, where you go? Push up. Push, 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 push. Couldn't quite all fit them, so we'll just put a handful in this pen out the front. Come we go. Just like that. So because we only milk once a day, if you're new here, that's right, we only milk in the morning, we don't milk in the afternoon, any time of the season. It is hard to get the cows in, so they've already been in this morning, been milked, they've been out to their paddock, and they usually don't come in the shed again, so to get them in twice in one day, it takes a little bit of effort. It's not too bad, as you see. We have got them in there, but yeah, they're not used to it. Andrew, good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? All good to go. So we've just put the cups on this side of the pit. Martha will put her trolley down here, that's what she uses. And we just use one side because it is a pretty messy job, as you'll see. Where do you want the paint, Martha? Do you want me to paint them? Yeah. Do you want me to spray them? Where did I put it? Oh. Did you grab that spray paint? Oh, there it is right there. Paint for the empties, we'll just give them a mark on their back. Yep. Now three seven. Three seven Right, only one empty in the first row. Yep, the 
I'm gonna get these. So I'm hoping that this herd will scan below 8%. I'd be pretty happy if they did. Um, and if they scanned over 10, I wouldn't be quite so happy. So anywhere between 8 and 10, I'd be pretty happy. So what's happening here is Kerry's got an iPad or some sort of device like that calling out, or Martha's actually calling out the cow numbers. She'll type it in, comes up there, and it'll say what matings she's had. And then she'll be able to see what the, um, I think it's the head size of the calf is and say whether it's one of those matings well she's just dropped them under 90 so that was a um by the bull cow two three four ninety nine there's my favorite 52 She's in calf to AB, not six semen, I don't think that one held. She's in calf, so that's good. Happy with that. No, other side. This cow here, she's empty too, I'd say. Just rub marks on her back. Maybe not, but I would have thought so. Soon find out. How many of these cows that you put your hand up that your finger empty uh, actually have a calf in them? 2%, oh yeah. This is that cow I thought was empty. Hands gone up. She'll get a spray, I reckon. She's empty. That's right. Martha's swapping out. Kerry's going to have a go for a row, and this is the unit she uses. So that's the battery pack, the probe, which has the scanner or the ultrasound down at the end. Then that's just a plastic tube. And then these are the glasses here that she wears. I don't know if it's on at the moment. Uh, you can't see, but she can see the ultrasound through the glasses, just like that. Yeah, nice. Back, 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 oh, back. Yeah. Too far, too far, too far. Toggle it there. Toggle it there. Back. Come back a little bit. Yes, there's the head. See that? No. no. There. There. That's much smaller, um, Andrew. Yes. William, sorry. So it's not a um, mummy. So it'll be more like a 70 day as well. Come back a bit, hun. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah, and toggle it there. Give it back a little bit more. Toggle it there. Keep looking for it. Yes, there it is it's again. Just, oh, Keep okay. going in that same direction because you started at the ass end oh, and you need you to get to the, the head. Hoops. Yes. No, you need the head. Go for the head. She's like, I don't, I don't. No, those are the ribs. Yeah, keep doing that we'll same sweeping it. movement. I can see she's pushing on you, eh? It'll be 70 day. That's a head, beautiful, yeah, beautiful 70 day. Beautiful. All done, now just got to wash up. They do make a bit of a mess. Drizzling quite heavily out there, which is nice. And the results. So, if we come into here, pregnancy test set up. Cows tested, 176. Cows in calf, 165, not 11. So. Um, yeah, a 6.2% empty rate. Which is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty thrilled with that result. I, like I said, anything under 8% is, is pretty amazing, or it's better than last year. But, and there is quite a big but with that though, that is only this herd. So that is not our whole um, empty percentage or empty rate. So we're going to do the other mob tomorrow and... I don't know, they might be worse, which would bring the empty rate overall up. Um, but then again, if, they, if they're better, then it'll bring it down too. So, um, And we couldn't work out the six week and three week today because we don't have all the figures. But it's looking like it's going to hit on track with last year. I think I did have a quick little look, but it was kind of hard to see because it based it on the whole herd. Um, but yeah, 
next next uh, herd's going to be interesting all tomorrow. So I thought I'd do it in two videos because that might be uh, the easy way to do it. Otherwise, it's going to be real long. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow and get all the results back and have a look. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'll answer them. Other than that, see you next time.